Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lizzie. If you have been here before, then welcome back. And if you have not been here, then welcome. So today what I'm going to be doing is reacting to my most popular video on YouTube. And as a bonus, after that, I'm going to be going through the comments and reading all of the like creepy, sketchy ones because this video has a couple hundred comments on it. And the last time I looked at it, there were some very strange and slightly creepy comments. So I'm going to read through those because I think that might be entertaining for myself and you guys as well. So I did a similar video to this one where I reacted to my very first YouTube video, which I will link because that was also really fun for me to film. Um, and today we're going to be watching A Brief Journey on the Appalachian Trail, which is a video that I released on May 31st, 2016, so about four years ago. And this video right now has a little over 140,000 views. So this by far is my most popular video. Um, I think the like second most popular has maybe like 10,000 views. So this one by far is the most popular. I remember making this video and it was just a really cool time in my life. So I'm, I might get a little emotional, I don't know. But I am really excited to watch this video. I'm gonna be looking this way because that's where my laptop is. Okay, so this video is seven minutes and 13 seconds long and I'm gonna go ahead and press play. My hair is so short. I just climbed the one mile up here from the parking lot where my mom dropped me off. So yeah, I'm gonna be hiking 40 miles from... Also, I bleached my own hair like a week before I went on this trip and I remember being so mad with how it turned out because I was going for like a balayage effect and it's just like bleached. It didn't turn out that good, but I'm kind of nostalgic for it now. It was honestly a look. Bring her to Hogpen Gap, which is just past Blood Mountain. 40 miles. Um, I'm gonna do it in three days, two nights, three days, and yeah, I need to get started. So let's head out. My legs look so tan. Also, this song is by Cake, and I remember feeling really like edgy and indie for including it in my video. I was I was kind of terrible. I'm four miles in. Still have those it's sunglasses. 8:20. I still have about 12 miles to go. The only thing that's been driving me nuts is I've been walking through cobwebs all morning, and I feel like Frodo Baggins heading into the lair of Shelob or something because it's so annoying. But yeah, things are going good. It's beautiful out here, and I'm excited for the rest of the day. So three things. One, people were mad at me for putting music in this video. I remember seeing it in the comments. They were like, we can't hear you. It takes away from nature. Take out the music. But also some people were like really down for the music. So it was very divided. Two, people loved the sunglasses, which I still have. I got so many comments on those. And three, people were also freaking out about the Lord of the Rings reference. I remember seeing that in the comments as well. And I remember feeling really cool for being able to slip that in. So it was, it was all strategic. It was all very strategic. I'm, I believe, 14 and a half miles in, which means I'm only a mile and a half from the shelter. I'm out of focus. Bad. It's bothering me. But I am feeling really good and really proud of my case. And I'm really excited to be refreshed by this creek. Oh god, I thought it was so cool with the editing. Because it's not really the season anymore to start a through hike. On one hand, it's kind of nice um, to just sort of have some time to think and be alone and stuff. Especially because this trip is happening right after graduation. So oh. about to start. That's what makes me so nostalgic for this time is I took this trip, I think like the weekend after I graduated or two weekends after and after I graduated high school and it was just such a that was like the best summer of my life I think I've seen like memes about it how summer 2016 was like the best time ever and it really was that was like a fantastic summer I I'm so nostalgic for that time it was just such a good time I'm kind of down 
months since graduation. Um, but I do wish there were more people, you know. This makes me cringe because there are people walking up behind me. And I'm so awkward about being filmed, or like people seeing me filming. So it was so cringy. Hardcore. Will only be like five or six miles. So we'll see. I respect 16 year old Lizzie. I don't know if I'm in shape enough to do this now, and that makes me sad. I really need to get back into it. But let me tell you that campsite that I camped at the first night was kind of terrible. It was so crowded that I literally had to share my campsite with two other people, and it was like every, we were all on top of each other basically and it was so incredibly annoying and I was just like what have I signed up for but I guess that's the name of the game so, day two, this day camp. sucked <laughs> it's about 7 45. I remember this day sucking it'd be really awesome if I could push through past the meals gap but we'll see last night ended up being pretty fun it was, was really it? good group of hikers at the shelter. I do remember I met so some nice nice. hikers this trip. That was the best part. Them. Slept really well. And yeah, let's go. Oh, the shins. So deep. I was I was an idiot this day because I did not use my trekking poles because I wanted to have my camera out and I suffered. I was so sore at the end of the day. And I do remember that that first night at the um, at the campsite, I was so awkward, like going up to the shelter and cooking my dinner because I was alone. I was 16. I I wanted to come across as like cool and older, and it was it was just so like. Oh, but I do remember having a good time. It was so hot this day too. It was so hot and humid. Yeah. I was so skinny. I was so tiny. I can see the bugs flying around. They were so gross. That was one of the worst parts. I'm officially done for the day. I arrived at Bull Gap like five minutes ago. It's about Ooh, you can see the redness on my shoulders too. Close to 17 miles from Gooch I remember this day because I ended up going farther than I was expecting to, and I had to run from the summit of Blood Mountain down to Neil's Gap to make sure I got there in time to buy some snacks before they closed. And while I was there, I saw a friend from high school that I just graduated with. He was riding motorcycles with his dad and I remember seeing him from a distance and being like, is that actually Colin? And then I was like, Colin! And I was, as soon as I yelled it, I was like, if I yell this and it's not Colin, I'm gonna look so incredibly weird. But it was, so it worked out. And that was, it was just super random, but it was really funny to run into him on top of a mountain completely randomly. I'm like licking my lips so much right here. I don't know why. I got some Sprite. Sprite. I hate that. I don't know why I did that. Having to take refuge inside my tent because the bugs are just awful outside. They are. Today was rough. Me every day. I was definitely feeling the weight of my pack. And um, as you can see, there's a little like redness. I got wrecked in the comments for this too because I did not properly adjust my pack. I know that now, but at the time I was like, eh, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't hurt that bad. But looking back on it, people were like, you idiot. <laughs> so I have learned. I think that's just from 
me not knowing how to properly adjust it. Uh, See, I knew. I definitely need to work on. I knew I was an idiot. Are still intact, which is what I'm happy about. Yeah, this part's gross. So these are my feet. Um, I have a huge blister right there, which is disgusting. I have a pretty big blister yep. there too. Um, this foot is more okay. I have a big blister forming there. Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> and that was really dirty. Um, hopefully they go away in the middle of the night or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I also got roasted for that. People roast me a lot in the comments when it comes to backpacking. I want to say it's because I'm like a, a young woman and they're just being biased, but I am kind of an idiot sometimes. So I'll admit to that. I did it. God, that hair. <laughs> I got here maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. It's about 11. I'm waiting for my parents to pick me up, and I feel super duper great. I'm really proud of the pace I made, and I'm really glad that yesterday I decided to push past my plan 12 miles and do the full 16, because um, I feel like I enjoyed Neil's Gap a lot, and I was just really glad to get Blood Mountain over and done with. I think I would not be in such a great mood if I had to hike 10 miles today. I'm really glad I took this trip and I feel like I'm really excited to keep training and pushing for a through hike. I didn't do the through hike. Days, sort of take some time to myself. Um, there were a couple hikers that I crossed paths with throughout my section, but for the most part, I was definitely alone most of the time. Um, it was actually cool. I ran into these two dudes a couple times, like we kind of uh, leapfrogged our little section and they ended up finding me on YouTube and commenting on this video so that was that was really cool that's what I like about back backpacking is the community is so fantastic so I thought that was super cool but I liked it um, it was really nice to just have some time to think and just sometimes not think at all just to chill so it was a really great trip, but I'm glad to be done, um, and I'm ready to get back home, get some food, mm -hmm. uh, maybe go to the pool, and get back into the swing of things. Oh, such good memories. I do really love watching that video. I think I did a good job with it, and... Yeah, it was just such a great time in my life. At the time, I was planning to do a through hike, and unfortunately, I didn't do it when I planned. I'm not saying that I will never do it, because I would really like to do it, um, but it just didn't work out for the time that I was planning it. So if you want like a video about why I decided not to do a through hike, let me know, because I would, I would enjoy kind of sitting down and talking about that. I, I think that's something not a lot of people talk about, and I think there is still kind of a stigma in the backpacking community about canceling a hike or cutting a hike short or things like that and I don't think there should be because obviously everyone's situations are so different. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and read to you guys all of the questionable comments that I've gotten on this video because there are quite a few. I'm sorry if the angle suddenly shifted, my uh, battery died so I had to readjust. I'm sorry I'm so inappropriate for saying this but do hickers like hook up when doing this trail things you know almost like one night stand i don't know dude i have not hooked up with anybody on the trail maybe probably but mm -mm. great heart-shaped sunglasses have you ever done any modeling i do artistic portrait photography myself mm, i'm just trying to hike <laughs> this guy just said the eyes thank you i grew them myself i falled in love I falled in love once you brought up the Lord of the Rings. Great video. Okay. Well, I thought you were, I thought you were, he misspelled were, I thought you were beautiful with your shades on and then you took them off. You're, spelled incorrectly, just wow, a very beautiful woman. Enjoy your hiking. Cool video, dot, dot, dot. You are very cute and I like your sunglasses. Smiley face. This one is not creepy, but it still cracks me up. Cheers for the video. I visited this wonderful part of the world, in parentheses, I'm from Northern Ireland, last year and saw a girl up a tree in a hammock studying. Thought it was just wonderful. Think I have a photo somewhere, dot, 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 dot. So yeah, that's my story. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool, I guess. Loose, not lose, 
loose the sunglasses like your eyes good job this one he's like talking kind of normally and then at the very end he says i can be your old night protector lol eh come to arizona and i will give you a personal tour of petrified forest national park and painted desert then we can hike down into the grand canyon thanks joe i would totally take you up on that offer um as long as it was completely platonic and i could bring like three of my friends two things liner socks and you're cute You'd have more views if you took those sunglasses off. Good to know. Thanks. You're super hot. T -t 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 -t. Lose the glasses. Your, again, spelled incorrectly, your eyes are stunning. It's weird how even if you don't have a buddy with you during your trip, you still wanted to have, as per today, 74,299 buddies with you. Nevertheless, you are incredibly good looking. There you go. I mean, on the trail. There. Go. You. Ha. Good luck. Mmm, this one is really something. Yummy. Two nights on the trail and still bangable. Thanks for the vid. I don't like that. This guy, he gives me some like actual advice about breaking in my shoes, you know? He's like, uh, you should walk with them, break them in. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then at the very end, he says, good luck, sorry. You are super sexy, keep it up. And that's what I love about a lot of the dudes who comment on these videos is they're like, um, let me give you some advice. They proceed to give me advice and then they're like, you're really attractive. And I'm like, <sighs> packaging up this creepy comment with the advice, I'm like, no. Hike naked next time. Where can I find a cool chick like you that like to hike? And then this cracks me up. Someone responded and said, by not commenting things like this, <laughs> I'm like, Thank you. You are too cute to be hiking alone, dot dot dot. Love that shin song. That seems a little threatening to me. <laughs> so yeah, those are all of the comments. Some of them were very interesting and I just question why people feel the need to comment at all. Please stop. Like I want to be able to share things without being creeped out and feeling like people are going to just focus on my appearance because that is literally the last thing on my mind and my last intention with this video. This is a video of me in the woods for a weekend covered in like dirt and blisters. Like it's not cute guys. Don't say it is. I don't know. I th I'm sure it's just random people who found it and kind of decided to creep on it but it's just so strange to me. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you are staying safe wherever you might be and I will see you guys in my next video.